Pretty sure everyone watching One Piece right now is just waiting for Gear 5. It's like the it's been the longest wait for, uh, you know, a power-up reveal in anime. I mean, I thought Dragon Ball was bad, but <laughs> this is like, oh my god. There's been so many images released, so I missed this one. This is like from Shonen Jump, a cover back in December. So I didn't even see this one, so I thought I'd draw it. So let's go. Landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause, or go too fast. He's got this like spaghetti arm coming up the back. I won't be able to fit that in because it's like it's wrapped around the Shonen Jump text. So we'll just focus on the image, right, of Luffy. So center point here, we're going to put the head up, right? Up above that halfway up here. And I'll probably zoom in for you just so things are a bit clearer. So we go for this spiral eyebrow, like this cloud-like spiral tick there. And then it has a top part, and it goes underneath his hair, right? So we'll just stop it there. And then his eye, down there, down there. And then the bottom curves around. Iris, circle, kind of in the lower half of his eye, because he, he's looking down at us. And then his pupil in the middle. Scar on his cheek. And then we go do the other one. So spiraling eyebrow. Don't finish it because it goes underneath his hair. So it just kind of stops there suddenly. And then top. So his eyelid sort of comes down here. And then around there. And then the bottom. Around like so. Iris. Pupil. Like so. His nose is kind of spiking up in this one. So like goes up here. And then around to there. There's no nostril drawn in. But I wonder. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <clears throat> okay, and then a big smiling mouth, right? So like crazy big. He's so happy when he's in gear five. Right, like that. And then one piece, they have these insanely big mouths. So it like curves all the way around like that. So for the top teeth, we can like see like into the back of his mouth nearly. So you can see teeth just coming up. Down around there. We got some more bumps just here. Going down to the back of his <coughs> mouth. Then we, they draw in his gums. So just some like little bumps and V's there. And you can only see maybe one or two just on this side. Bottom teeth, just a curved line coming across the bottom of his mouth and his tongue. Similar, just like a big curved line around, going back there. All right, so he just has like a big round face, right? So like comes around here. It goes all the way around. Curved like that. And his ears are kind of in line with his mouth. Coming down like so. Ear lines inside, just kind of this, the easy way is this sort of letter J sort of shape. 
something like that. Do, 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 do. Right, so it's hair, right? So we'll do this like a little spiral just in the middle of his head. Like so. And then we got a spike that comes down here. Down like this. Another spiraling shape here. And then kind of just comes down, joins his hair. Then we go out from the back of his head for the rest. This sort of cloudy sort of hair stuff. Now remember, hair moves and stuff. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. So you could do it your own sort of style if you wanted. It's kind of like bumpy anyway. It's, you know, it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be in a particular way. It's pretty easy to draw. This kind of hair. Right, so then we've got his neck coming down here. He's got like a big hand in front, right? So, let's see. So we'll do, like, so his hat is kind of tied here just on his neck. Like so. And then he has all that cloud that comes around him and an arm here. Big hands and feet. So we'll deal, we'll deal with this cloud that comes out here, right? So try and get this done. Right, it kind of like, it goes around his head and goes under his arms like here. comes around his hair. Like so. Right, and then goes down around him here. And this is his arm then. This is a big, long spaghetti sort of arm that he has. And it, this will just go like off my page, right? So it's just this kind of arm that floats off this way. And, you know, it's gone all rubber and spaghetti like, so it's gone that way. And then this cloud comes around the arm, like here, and out from under his ear. off that way somewhere okay so the big hand I guess we got to do the big hand so we can't avoid it it's all here <clears throat> so tip of the finger one of them here this bump right and another one there there, so we're going down this way. We'll do the other one here. Okay, and then the thumb will be like there. So each of these will be a finger. So it goes like down around here. And they're, they're relatively straight. There's no knuckles or anything drawn. Right, these curved lines on them. And then this one comes down here. Curve lines. So they get skinnier down towards the bottom. So that's a little bit of forced perspective. So it just makes everything look like it's coming towards us. 
right? And then we get the finger joins there. Goes around. Carved lines. And then the thumb. Like so. Just these little connections in between the fingers. And then the thumb. Goes all the way to the bottom of the hand and the pinky. And some more lines just in here. Like that. Right, so then he's got like two big sandals, right? So we'll do those. Just these big curving. things there. Like that in the bottom of it, like here. And these will have sort of lines that come across. Just these little texture lines. Right, and then same on this side. So, okay, and then his like toes kind of stick up from the top. So we go just around to each toe. There. And they're kind of simply drawn just these kind of curves. Like that, and then we see the side of his foot there. Okay, so then we gotta like fill in all this space and connect the hand up to his shoulder and the legs up to his like body, right? <clears throat> so his shoulder comes down this way. And this is like a bumpy sort of sleeve. There. And then the inside of the sleeve, it's kind of this wavy section like that. And then you can just see his arm coming down towards the hand there. Maybe like a bit of his arm here as well. So his knees, right, so we got a knee here, and then he has that uh, fluffy sort of leg thing. Just coming around there. Texture lines on it. You can see a little bit of his foot or something there. And then more of that cloud that comes out from underneath. There, and more of the leg going that way some clothing lines just here. Okay, and then we do some similar on this side. So we got this fluffy thing here. And the knee. And then these that go around. And then some leg lines. <coughs> some lines like so. And then his waistcoat comes down here. We got some buttons. Like that. And so we can see his waistband here. And like some more of his sleeve, I think. Like his sleeve comes across. There, 
right? And that's like his waistband. And then his jeans, like his trousers or his pants just come this way. And then we can see his scar. So we got this like scar section. And then we can see like his chest inside here. Some abdominal muscles. Like some texture on his scar. His collarbones will go this way, and the tops of his shoulders will be somewhere in here. Like I think we can see like the back of his clothing and stuff here. And then straw hat, we can just see a little bit of it just here. Yeah, maybe here as well. And this has like textures like this on it. Okay. And that is everything. That is how to draw. Luffy, gear five. Hope was helpful. Oh, there's a little thing here as well. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Come on, gear five. Hurry up. Hurry up.